morning. Warren Buffett making the case for capitalism at Berkshire Hathaway's annual meeting over the weekend. It's the subject of a column I wrote in the New York Times this week as well. And here's what Bill Gates had to say about capitalism, given what seems to be a little bit of a political controversy these days on Squawk Box on Monday. Here's what he said. Uh, some people think when you defend capitalism, you're defending the tax rates we have today and saying that higher absolute tax rates or more progressive tax rates, that you're disagreeing with them. And I, I don't think uh, Warren and I are disagreeing that you could make the taxes more progressive. In fact, we've been very explicit in some areas, like the estate tax, and saying we think that would be a good thing. Socialism. You got your wish. It came back. <laughs> Socialism used to mean that the state controlled the means of production, mm -hmm. and a lot of people who are promoting socialism actually aren't using that classic definition. So, what we're going to have is capitalism with some level of taxation. Um, most people really aren't arguing against capitalism. There may be a few, but most people are, are just saying that, that the taxes should, should change. And joining us right now is Operation Hope chairman and founder, CEO John Hope Bryant. Do you think there's a confusion? Because right now we're in this political climate where we have a number of presidential candidates on the Democratic side who either have been socialists, call themselves socialists, or say there's a problem with capitalism. We have a lot of people talking about how capitalism is broken. Ray Dalio has come on this program to talk about that. Is it that capitalism unto itself has changed and shifted? And by the way, it may be that there are trends in, 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 in some ways in which in terms of the way labor and capital work have, have, have pulled apart? Or is it a, a situation where capitalism is working and we just need to change some of the policies around, the, uh, around capitalism, around either regulation or taxes? Well, first of all, as Warren Buffett said, when you have more specialization, you create more uh, distinction and the poor get, get poor and the rich get richer. Capitalism needs a software upgrade, but people also need to understand the difference between socialism and capitalism. Even if you want to distribute money like a socialist, you have to first collect it like a capitalist. So, so, so capitalism has created an enormous opportunity in this country, but unfortunately that opportunity is now beginning to be concentrated. You had a jobs report last week. Right. Great report, except the gaps. So 40% of all those jobs are $15 an hour, hourly wages are less. And 40% of all jobs are going to poof, go away with automation and AI in 20 years. We need to be talking about skills that allow people to participate in the free enterprise system. People say they hate rich people. No, you don't. You hate rich people until you become rich. <laughs> what you hate is a game system. So we should be having, in my opinion, not a debate about how to defend capitalism, but how to create more capitalists who don't look like you. And, and that's about massive free enterprise but, uh, but part of the But yeah. part of that question is if you believe that, that our version of capitalism or capitalism today is creating these specialties and requires more education and requires, uh, not just requires it, but is ultimately going to be more concentrated in certain hands, then that's actually an issue with capitalism unto itself, not everything around the edges. And the, do you see? The, the problem this is, is the, where the debate, the, the I think, problem is, The problem is all of us. Right. The problem is all of us. Uh, you've heard me say this before. We are not uh, signaling to the marketplace the right things. We need in massive internships. I keep, I'm, like a, I'm like a broken record. We need, I was on a show this, week, this weekend, ladies, a producer. How do you become a producer? Young, white, female, educated. I was an intern. It wasn't that she passed the genius test. <laughs> it wasn't that she brought, you know, she was a brain surgeon. No, she knew the right person. Conversely, you hang around nine broke people, you'll be the 10th. I don't care how smart you are, you end up being a drug dealer on the south side of Chicago versus being Steve Jobs. So the system of preparation, we need entrepreneurship schools. You have this qualified opportunity zones. Here's a positive side of this story. Qualified opportunity zones, which is bipartisan and was signed into law by this president, right, will unleash at least $100 billion in the poorest neighborhoods of venture capital. But there's $2 trillion of unrealized capital gains sitting on ledgers and balance sheets. Two trillion dollars over 10 years would wipe out poverty and create a whole bunch of capitalists if we do it intelligently. If we don't do it intelligently, it'll be a rocket ship tied to wagon wheels.
And every inner city in France is called Paris. <laughs> so inner cities are gold mines, but we're not seeing it that way. We're saying, oh, look at these poor people over here. No, no, no. this is untapped human potential. So, go ahead. so I agree, John, with, with, with the notion of we have to think more seriously about the untapped human potential in terms of training, retooling. But I want to go back to something you said earlier, because it really struck me. You said, collect like a capitalist, spend it like a socialist. Well, that's what they do in Sweden. So some people will tell you there's, there's a fundamental inconsistency between the two. So explain a little bit what do you mean by... by the I'm two. saying that people don't... In Sweden, you've got timber. In Norway, you have oil. It wasn't like they woke up in the morning and said, ooh, let's just distribute money. They had to first gather it and make it meaningful and build it, capitalism, and then the tax code... Right. Their tax treatment decided how they wanted to. But that works if the state owns the natural resource. I'm actually not advocating for that right. model. I'm just telling you well, how, how it works. Let me ask you a question about these opportunity the zones. Huh? Let me ask you a question about these I don't think that works zones. at scale, by the way. I don't think it works in the U.S. The opportunity zone issue is an interesting one because it should help a lot of inner cities. However, yeah. the people who are, will ultimately, I think, be the greatest beneficiaries of the opportunity zones are probably investors. people with capital, the, investors exactly right. in those yes. spaces who are going to use, by the way, some of the capital gains that they have in other things to, to, to go into these things and get the tax benefit. Yes. So it's not, it, if you don't have capital, right, if you're, if you're living in the, in the inner city, you're not, you're not a, it's, not, it's not that you get the opportunity to, to, to invest in that opportunity zone. I'm, no, but, you're, but you your neighborhood gets better. Correct. Right? Well, well, your well, housing but, gets but better. This, but this is where gentrification becomes a bad, a bad word. There's nothing wrong with gentrification. It just means a movement to middle class values, except what, what Andrew is talking about. So unless we educate populations, these populations that we're talking about are 500 credit scores. That's where everything negative exists. Crime, homicides, that where neighborhoods where you and I live, by the way, that's not black or white, it's green. Those are 700 credit score neighborhoods. If we can move the credit score 100 points, you change the whole neighborhood, you get people the sort of the, the human capital, the intellect to be able to use financial capital in the right way, access the qualified opportunity zone funds to be and invest and start businesses in their own neighborhoods. This doesn't have to be either or, it can be and. Yeah, John, and you, you, uh, it took a follow up question before you said, I don't think it's scalable. In Sweden. You didn't ask me the right question, Joe. No, no, no. They took a follow-up before you said it. And I think that's one of the, therein lies one of the problems with, with, with the left in that Bernie and, and others that, that are way out there on, in terms of wh where they want to take us, they put forth um, the, the democratic socialist countries of Europe as where they do want to take us. And when you clarified it and said it's not, gonna, it's not scalable here, that's it's an important scalable. distinction yeah. to make. Because at first you sounded like you were right, right on board with... With Bernie and no, what I have is compassion, Joe. Right, and, you know, and, you know, and when you when we when you and I would have had breakfast, you sounded a whole but like much like a capitalist with a heart. My point is, I don't know. I think all capitalists have not, hearts. Uh, 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 Which capitalists don't? If you create jobs and well, and, and you and you and you, there was Bernie oh, okay. Madoff, they're always there was, bad what apples. What does that John, got to do? I agree with I'm just talking about who should own the means of production. Like I, look, and when Dahlia was here, like. I'm not, I, I still don't understand what, what, what clear, his deal is, but we capitalist. talked about it, it's a tax, it, it, just listen. Bill Gates said exactly what I said that day, yes, but you're but talking the, about the, the tax flip, system, the flip not is, the economic system. You historically system. have not encouraged higher taxes, you want lower taxes. I, I would like to keep as much money in the private sector as possible. So, but because that's where it's treated best, and I think that's where you grow the pie, you, so it can be divided and, up. And you will have no graces, which is the young lady who is the end. No, no, the intern, I, you, you got it. A person Look, of color. If you give me great things to spend it on, go ahead. Brian, thank you for the conversation. The debate continues.